Today's beginner's tutorial is inspired by my friend Joyce. Joyce is brand new to diamond painting and she recently had some questions for me about how to properly fill her diamond painting pen with wax. So while we were talking about it, it occurred to me that there's probably a lot of people that are new to diamond painting that have some of the same questions that she has. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to give a simple, straightforward tutorial on how to fill a diamond painting pen, the basic pen that you get in most kits with the basic wax that you get in most kits. So it's gonna be super quick, super helpful. Stay tuned. To fill your diamond painting pen, you will need exactly those two things. You will need a diamond painting pen and you will need a piece of wax. So for this tutorial, I have chosen to go with the most common supplies that you will find whenever you purchase a diamond painting kit, which are the pink pen and the pink wax. Of course, there's other options out there, but for beginners especially, this is what you're going to find in most cases. So to fill your pen, what you're gonna do is you're going to pick it up, and on this side here, you have a metal end this is going to place one diamond at a time on your canvas. So to fill it, what you're going to do is you're gonna pick up your wax and the piece of wax or the plate of wax, it's going to have two pieces of plastic on either side that is going to protect it from drying out or picking up any unwanted hairs or gunk, you know, dirt, whatever. So you're going to remove one side of the plastic. So you have the sticky part here and you have the plastic right here. And it really doesn't matter. Both sides are exactly the same, but just pick a side and take the top off. Now you have a piece of sticky wax and your pin. So you're gonna place it down on the table and you are going to stick your pin directly into the wax. I don't know if you can see that or not, but just directly down. And now you can see that I have a nice little hole here where I picked up the wax into the tip of my pen. I'm gonna to try to get that there where you can see it. So as you can see, it's filled pretty well. What you want is you don't want it to be too shallow. And at the same time, you don't want it to be overfilled. So this looks pretty perfect to me. It's right at, I'm, again, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but it's right even with that tip and that's exactly what you want. If you had any overage, you would just scrape it off a little bit. If you didn't have enough, then you would go back to your plate of wax and you would dab again. So that is pretty simple right there. So you're ready to go. You have just enough wax, just enough, not too little, not too much, Goldilocks, just right, okay? So with your pens, a lot of times you will not only have the single placer, but you also have a multi-placer. So this particular, you can have many different kinds of multi-placers here on the back. It could be a three-placer, it could be a five-placer, it could be a 10-placer, and all that means is that you will pick up that number of drills off of your tray, and be able to place that onto your canvas all at one time. So especially if you have a canvas that has a lot of the same repeating colors right in a row, this is super quick and easy to use. So to fill this part of your pen, this particular one is a three placer. So I am going to take it again onto my piece of wax. Again, it doesn't matter which side of the plastic you peel off, they are both the same. I'm just gonna stick with the same one and I'm going to dip it just like I did the other one. The other side, I'm gonna dip it straight into that wax, okay? I'm gonna put a little pressure on it, I'm gonna wiggle it back and forth a little bit and I'm gonna pick it right back up. So as you can see there, it picked up that piece of wax. In my multi-placer, again, it's smooth across the top. That's exactly what you want. You don't want it too shallow. You don't want it overfilled. You want it exactly to the top of that placer, okay? So again, if you have too much, you'll take something and scrape it off just so that it's flush with the top of the multi-placer. If you don't have enough, then you will dip again. And this is how you do it. 
okay? So you have plenty of wax here. This wax will last you a long time. You don't need to keep dipping into your wax. You'll only refill the wax when it becomes not sticky anymore or if you lose too much of it in your tip. So that's how you do it. That's how you fill your pen. Pretty easy, right? If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments down below and I will answer them directly. Have a good one.